Tom, back at the Vic in a, a draw with a Premier League side to finish the pre-season. How pleased were you with today's performance? Yeah, it's a big step forward, you know. Um, would have been easy for people to lose a little bit of belief of, of a f few of our pre-season results. The, um, the, the performances, the results, they weren't ideal. Uh, we all know that, but... This is the, the game where we were preparing as, as close to a normal game as possible and, and I think the, the preparation and the, the level of focus and, and yeah, the hammer it was off today and it, it mirrored in our performance. Musa Sissoko with our goal in the first half. It must have been nice to see your summer signing get on the score sheet. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, it's not something that he's, he's known for but he, uh, he had a really solid game in there today. He's... he's He's important to what we want to do here and, and I'm pleased that he came from a, a high pressure. It's something that we want to do. He's get put pressure on the ball high up in the pitch and, and we were rewarded for that today. Uh, Georgie Czech for Tadzi has been superb in pre-season since coming back from the Euros. Um, how good has he been the last couple of games? Yeah, I don't want to shout this one too, too loudly, to be honest. Um, but he's, he's, it thrills me to go into to my, my job and, and work with players like this. You know, he's, he's a real, real talent. Uh, I was never a ball carrier like Georgie, but I like. I was an intelligent midfielder, and I, and I, like, I love the way he plays and, and the the way he can travel with the ball. And yeah, he's 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 in a good moment, and it's it's my job to keep him in that. And in goal, uh, Dan Backman made two or three really important saves. Sort of showed his worth as well. Yeah, it's, that's Dan's fantastic shot stopper, the best in the league for me. Um, and today's his distribution was excellent as well, which pleases me just as much. But we know we can always rely on Dan when our back line is broken. We've, we've always got one more between the sticks that makes it very hard for the opposition to score. What's the plan for next week? Will it be more of the same or would the intensity rise up going into that Millwall game? Yeah, I'd like to think that the, the handbrake was half off today and then it's all the way off next week. Um, we know the challenge we're, we're in for. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be working hard on, in the week to, to make sure we're ready for that. And... Um, I think everyone, we've had a long pre-season, you know, we're going into week seven, uh, we've had eight games, I think everyone's chomping at the bit to get, get going now. Do you have your starting 11 for the den in mind or are there still places up for grabs? Yeah, well, that's what pre-season's all about, I mean, you, you, can't, you don't want to work with your starting 11 from, the, from game one because everyone needs minutes, but I, I, yeah, I have a clear vision of, of how we're going to look next week. As you said, um, the pre-season's over now, everyone's looking forward to the to the real stuff um, how excited are you for next weekend yeah I've been excited ever since we came back you know it's it's. Uh, I was looking forward to the fixtures being released and then when they are released you look you look forward to, the, to game one uh, um, yeah a heck of a lot and yeah it's like I said it's been it's been a long time coming and it's finally here now and, and I feel like we're peaking at the right time uh, just finally uh, no Wes Hoot in the, the squad today after his injury midweek um, so an update on how he's getting on yeah I'm hoping it's just going to be a um, couple of weeks two to four weeks um, I'm told Wes is a quick healer we won't rush him uh, obviously um, I think if I'm being really positive we'd see him before the international break but most likely see him after the international break thanks Tom